And uh, but uh, the bad part to where we was really scared when the house started shaking and it, and it started going down pretty fast once it started going down. So and I knew about what it was that that levee broke over there. Okay, well, uh, what happened there, though, is that the water came up within an inch of the houses. It did not get inside, did a lot of damage to the grounds. It wiped out a few boat docks. That is right along the Little Red River, a very famous trout stream here in Arkansas. Not too good for trout today. It is just a, a muddy torrent. Rivers across the state, over the banks, the Washita River, down in the southern part of the state has already closed a major highway, Highway 7, just north of Camden. The White River is going to crest sometime next week down near Clarendon. That's a place that always seems to be threatened by floodwaters. In 2011, uh, that town was almost isolated and cut off. Interstate 40 closed for 30 miles in. They since raised the interstate up a little bit and put more drainage under it so the major transportation won't be cut. But wherever you travel across Arkansas, this state is drenched. More than a foot of rain has fallen over the past week. Another couple of inches will be falling before noon tomorrow when it finally moves out. But again, those rivers, the crests are still to come. Well, that's the story from Pangburn, Arkansas. Now, back to you guys. All right. Thanks so much, Ron Blum. And you mentioned what a wet February it's been there. The wettest February on record for Little Rock. So let's take a look at the current situation there. You can see the rain is coming down very heavy. A flash flood warning is in effect there right now. And an additional couple of inches of rain on top of what you already have just exasperating the flood situation. So a dangerous night for travelers. We want to bring in our severe weather expert, Dr. Greg Forbes, and he's got the latest, uh, not just what's happening there in Arkansas, but other parts of the Mid-South, too. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jackie. And there's some very heavy rain that's coming out of places like now Fort Worth up to southeast Oklahoma, back into the Arkansas and the Memphis area. So the flood concerns growing as we get into the overnight hours here. Here's what I'm talking about. These are the areas in Texas up into southeast Oklahoma that have the most lightning. And that is, look where it's heading, right toward Little Rock. And then from that, the Memphis area. And we've already earlier across northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, had a round of flooding rain. Here's our future uh, forecast, future radar, showing that by 11 o'clock or so, we'll have another round of very heavy rain into the Little Rock area, sagging as a cold front pushes southeast into the Dallas area and beginning to work its way across much of Arkansas and then continuing overnight into Tennessee, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, across Arkansas, and even towards sunrise, another round coming across, say, into Tupelo and into the Huntsville area. And so uh, a lot of places saturated uh, flood watches accordingly are in effect all the way from Dallas over into the Chattanooga, Knoxville, Nashville area, even Huntsville and Memphis included. So uh, turn around, don't drown. If you don't have to drive, don't. And some of you may have to do some evacuations uh, because of that. Here's where some of the heaviest rain is right now. Bonham, Texas, up to Hugo and Paris, Texas, heading off toward the east northeast into areas like Arkadelphia and Hot Springs, where they've had one round already. And you're under flash flood warnings in Little Rock, Garland, Hot Springs, Saline counties also over into areas east of Little Rock. Uh, Carlisle, there's been some voluntary evacuations. Lake Conway is up to flood stage and expected to flood some residences upcoming. And then still flash road warning for the Huntsville area and heavy rain up into the Chattanooga area where earlier we had some reports of uh, uh, roads flooded. Now down into the Fort Worth area, thunderstorms increasing as well as back to the west. And so again here, we may have some street flooding. It's been very heavy uh, rain lately there. And a strong storm west of Coleman could be some hail there. So still a chance in Texas up into southern Arkansas of an isolated severe thunderstorm yet this evening as well. Jackie. All right. Thanks so much, Dr. Forbes. Let's talk about some city timing uh, specifically to give you a better idea of when some of this rain is going to be heaviest and when it will come to an Ed. Uh, so this is the Texarkana area here where Texas, Arkansas and Louisiana all come together and notice the heavy downpours that are going to be pushing in uh, around the midnight hour or so and continuing off and on through the nighttime hours and early tomorrow morning. Likely a very difficult to commute, especially for early commuters tomorrow. And then notice how things start to dry up a little bit as we head towards the middle and latter part of the morning. But it's going to be a long time before all that water goes away altogether. What about you?
appreciate you in Memphis, Tennessee. You also having the wettest February on record. The rain's coming down now and will continue to come down uh, through the rest of the evening into the overnight as well. And notice early tomorrow morning, the commuters can expect to continue to see some wet weather through at least 8 o'clock and maybe another little wave could push through here uh, with that front as we head towards the early afternoon hours. But everybody should be able to put those umbrellas away at least for a minute uh, once you get a little closer to the lunch hour. Additional rainfall for you in Memphis likely going to range between about one and three inches. And notice our models are kind of putting the heaviest rain right here just along and south of the I-40 corridor. Well, coming up in five minutes, we're going to go in depth on the timing of some of the impacts of our powerful nor'easter. And that includes places like New York City, where power outages are possible across the Big Apple. We're going to have all the details on that coming up after your local on the 8th. Not too bad in New York City right now with 57 degrees, but winds and heavy rain and possibly even some snow all on the way. Currently in our area, 44 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, evening clouds will give way to clearing overnight. Low 31. Winds north northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Thursday, a mainly sunny sky. High 53. Winds north northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Thursday night, clear skies. Low 27. Winds east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. I'm here for an important reason, colon cancer screening. If you're age 50 or older and at average risk, Cologuard finds cancer and precancer, and it's a non-invasive test you can use at home. In fact, I'm as easy as get, go, gone. How do you get me? Your doctor orders me, and I'm delivered directly to your doorstep. There's no need for time off or special prep, because I use the DNA in your stool to find colon cancer. Then you just go. I mean, collect your sample. Then I'm gone. Just ship me to the lab. Gotta go. Cologuard is intended for individuals at average risk for colon cancer. Cologuard is not for high-risk individuals, including those with a history of colon cancer or polyps, IBD, certain hereditary cancer syndromes, or family history of colon cancer. Cologuard, colon cancer screening that's as easy as get, go, gone. Ask your doctor if Cologuard is right for you. To feed your phenomenal, Lean Cuisine is changing. Over 20 dishes with no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. With ingredients like sliced almonds, ginger soy sauce, and all-white meat chicken. And our gluten-free chicken with almonds. Lean Cuisine. Feed your phenomenal. Are you reluctant to eat in public because of your denture? Try Super Polygrip. Not only does it hold for 12 hours to reduce denture movement, it also helps provide better bite, seals out 74% more food particles, and enhances your denture fit. In fact, 95% of Super Polygrip users surveyed believe it makes them feel more confident eating in public. Eat, speak, and smile with confidence. Try Super Polygrip today. Art. It can be sculpted, bringing to life beautiful detail. painted in luxurious strokes and in rare cases both when you hear dominoes you think pizza but we're more than that we're mouth-watering bread twists, oven-baked sandwiches, pastas, chicken, and pizza. Just $5.99 each when you order two or more. We didn't stop at pizza, and you don't have to either. If you have moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, little things can be a big deal. That's why there's Otesla. 
Otesla is not an injection or a cream. It's a pill that treats psoriasis differently. With Otesla, 75% clearer skin is achievable after just four months with reduced redness, thickness, and scaliness of plaques. And the Otesla prescribing information has no requirement for routine lab monitoring. Don't use if you're allergic to Otesla. Otesla may cause severe diarrhea, nausea, or vomiting. Tell your doctor if these occur. Otesla is associated with an increased risk of depression. Tell your doctor if you have a history of depression or suicidal thoughts or if these feelings develop. Some people taking Otesla reported weight loss. Your doctor should monitor your weight and may stop treatment. Other side effects include upper respiratory tract infection and headache. Tell your doctor about all the medicines you take and if you're pregnant or planning to be. Tesla, show more of you. Taking a live look at our national capital tonight. Temperature is 55 degrees. A high wind watch will kick into effect as a powerful nor'easter could bring power outages and really intense weather uh, to D.C. as we head into our Thursday night through the day on Friday and lingering even into your Saturday morning. So welcome back. Let's talk a little bit about this nor'easter that's going to be developing and the kind of impacts we're going to have along the I-95 corridor and through the northeast. Right now, just kind of a little mess on the radar of some spotty light rain and snow showers across the region. But we're going to be watching the area where we've been seeing all the flooding today for that moisture to start to get lifted and some of that energy to get lifted up towards the north. That combined with an upper level disturbance that's going to be diving down will then transfer some energy off the coast and really develop a strong storm system that's going to have long lasting impacts because this is going to be a slow mover. A lot of moisture is going to get drawn up up with that so the rainfall will likely lead to some flooding and because we have a very big difference in pressure here with low pressure coming into the northeast high pressure kind of blocking it out means we're going to have a long fetch it means we're going to have a long duration event and we're going to see these strong systems uh, continue to kind of linger through the area for a 72 hour period of time look at the timing of this dc you've got to be ready for that rain to be pushing in by the late morning hours for tomorrow we'll likely see rain through the better part of the day through your Thursday and lingering into your Thursday night, starting to taper off a little bit towards your Friday morning. Notice the snow developing primarily with elevation across parts of upstate New York and western Pennsylvania, western Massachusetts as well, with heavy rain along the I-95 corridor here through the midday hours on your Friday. This will continue into your Friday night, and then we could see a little finish off with some snow even along the coastal areas. We'll keep an eye on that, but in the meantime, we think the heavy Heaviest snow stays in the interior where we have winter storm watches in effect, including you and Syracuse stretching over towards Buffalo. And look at the big bullseye. Our models are differing a little bit. And this is the GFS model. And it's showing a nice large area here where we could see 8 to 12 inches of snowfall and a few spots locally heavier than that. But it doesn't bring a whole lot into these coastal areas other than maybe kind of hitting into the Boston area. However, take a look at the Euro model. Kind of a big difference, significant here anyway. Anyway, it does bring some accumulating snow to Boston as well as New York City. Even though those numbers are low in terms of snowfall totals here, it could still be very impactful after the heavy rain with heavy snow and the strong winds combined. Well, we could see some of these big impacts well offshore. Dr. Erica Navarro and Alex Wilson are breaking down how the big waves could get and how strong winds will affect them. We could have a prolonged impact of these onshore winds here that will just absolutely be battering the coast uh, for periods of time. Look at the strength of the wind all the way down the coast and into interior places. Washington, D.C., wind gusts tomorrow in the 50 to 60 mile per hour range. So that is, uh, that's pretty decent, a very windy day. But it's these onshore winds here basically due east into the coast of Massachusetts, New Hampshire, uh, and New England, uh, up into the state of Maine as well. We could be seeing coastal erosion, coastal flooding. And Alex, these, the water levels could be rising two to three feet above normal tide levels. Right. So that's, uh, that is a lot of water. Big problem, big danger. You know, the people who live along the coast, they understand the risk, but this one could be a really significant storm. Even 
even for those areas that are uh, maybe traditionally used to it. Yeah, um, we could be seeing a lot of areas that maybe don't get the big impacts because uh, from a typical nor'easter here because of the be, east. be coming in play because it's an east wind, not a northeast wind. And look at how big this storm is here. The fact that we have so much space for those winds to move over the ocean also brings a very high likelihood of very tall waves on top of that. So a lot of threats to be watching out here along the coast. High risk along the coast of Massachusetts. Still some risk down to areas along Rhode Island as well uh, as the southeastern part of Massachusetts here down into Long Island as well. We could be seeing impacts. Moderate risk as you head to places north like Portsmouth, New Hampshire and up towards Portland. But we still can't rule out the possibility of these very big impacts. Look at these wave heights here. Off the coast will be the highest waves, but we're talking about maybe 15 to 20 foot waves here just right off the coast. I mean, Alex, you don't want to be on a boat <laughs> in this kind of situation. You definitely need to be staying inside. Well, we are also tracking a new winter storm that could impact parts of the West, including in Salt Lake City, where two feet of snow could fall over the upcoming days. That's ahead in your winter weather update. Coaching means making tough choices. Jim, you're in. But when you have high blood pressure and need cold medicine that works fast, the choice is simple. Core and HBP is the number one brand that gives powerful cold symptom relief without raising your blood pressure. Core and HBP. Call you back. Is this my car? State Farm knows that for every one of what? those moments, this is ridiculous. There's one of these. Is this my car? What? This is ridiculous. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. Oh, it's happening, sweetheart. Oh, it's happening, sweetheart. Shut up. Shut up. Ah! <laughs> That's why State Farm is there. What a day. With car insurance for when things go wrong. What a day. But also here with car loans <laughs> to help life go right. State Farm. You know, a wise man once said, if you can stream it, you should do it. So we made Local Now. The only way to stream your city. A 24-7 feed instantly connecting you to your community. And because it's always streaming, you can watch it anywhere on the only schedule that matters. So you can be the hipster of what's happening, the guru of what's going on, a neighborhood knowledge ninja. Local Now. Go ahead. Stream on. Currently in our area, 43 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, evening clouds will give way to clearing overnight. Low 31. Winds north northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Thursday, a mainly sunny sky. High 53, winds north-northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Thursday night, clear skies, low 27, winds east-northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven-day outlook. do you feel after going to the bathroom? <laughs> Let's ask the experts. I feel as clean as a little white tiny kitten. That's because only Cottonelle has clean ripple texture designed to clean better. How Cottonelle do you feel? I've seen them all. Big, small, wide, slim. Which is why at Men's Warehouse, we create the perfect fit. Now through Sunday, it's buy one, get one free on select items. Plus take an additional 40% off clearance. It's time to like the way you look. Let's face it, everyone would love a smartphone these days, but not everyone wants unlimited everything. For people who just need GPS, a good camera, and a few apps, there's TrackPhone, the original no-contract wireless provider. Smartphone plans start as low as $15, with phones from top brands like Samsung and LG at very affordable prices. TrackPhone has nationwide coverage on America's largest and most dependable 4G LTE networks. Available at retailers nationwide. Visit trackphone.com for more information and special offers. Make winter fun and stay protected all season long with WeatherTech laser measured floor liners that protect the front, back, and even up the sides. Add a seat protector and a cargo liner to protect the rear. Order yours today at WeatherTech.com. WeatherTech, the ultimate protection for your vehicle.
Introducing the all-new DR Leaf and Lawn Vacuum. Now at our lowest price ever. The DR cleans up acres of leaves and grass while you mow. In the spring, collect dead grass, wet leaves, and twigs from storm damage. Come summer, the DR makes a great high-capacity bagger. And in the fall, turn days of raking into a drive in the park. When it's time to unload, nothing could be easier. Look, just one hand. Plus, with the collector top removed, you've got a rugged utility cart that's great for all kinds of hauling chores. The DR is the most powerful, most versatile lawn machine you can buy. Call 1-800-515-3604 for a free buyer's guide and DVD. Learn how you can qualify for 0% financing and try a DR on your own property for six months. Free shipping is now in effect. That's 1-800-515-3604. Online at drleaffact.com. Go, go, go! It is a very brutal place to work. Anything can happen. All new Highway Through Hell, Sunday nights at 8 on the Weather Channel. All right, we've all heard that March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb, and that's especially true when it comes to the weather. In fact, that's why it makes forecasting so tricky in the month of March. I'm meteorologist Chris Bruin, and these are three tricky things you might not have known about March weather. Number one, the clash of the seasons. We have temperatures that are all over the place. One day it feels like winter, the next day it feels like summer, and vice versa. So when it comes to forecasting, we ask ourselves how cold does it get, especially with the return of growing season and the plants blossoming. It's critical to find that threshold at freezing and the extent of the warmth and how it plays into severe weather. Number two, snowfall amounts and ground temperatures. They're key. The days are getting longer and the sun's getting higher up in the sky. So the ground temperatures, they're warming up and we're getting more heating during the day and less cooling at night. So that really limits on how much snow we see overall, especially when it comes to spring storms and forecasting the overall snow amounts is very tricky. Number three. Spring rains, ice and snow melts, and runoff all play into effect when it comes to flooding in the springtime. And although an area may only see a little bit of rain, the other factors have to be taken into consideration when it comes to river levels and ground saturation. I'm meteorologist Chris Bruin, and those were the three tricky things you might not have known about March weather. Thanks so much, Chris. A lot of good information there. We've got a little bit of all of those things, right? We've got the flooding, we've got the snow in the forecast. And I know we posted a lot on the east tonight, but we've got a lot of action actually taking place across parts of the west. And this is one part of the country that could absolutely use some snowfall. We've got a deficit across parts of the Cascades, across the Sierra. And boy, we're going to make a little dent in that deficit for sure over the next couple of days. We've got Winter Storm Quinn uh, that's barreling into the west right now. And we've got Winter Storm Watches, warnings and even a blizzard warning in effect uh, for parts of the Sierra where we're going to be measuring the snow in feet over the next couple of days and some incredibly strong wind gusts to go along with that as well. You can see the rain already coming down along the I-5 corridor from Seattle down through Portland. We're seeing it in northern parts of California as well and the Cascades already getting in on some of the snow action. So our storm system, you can kind of see it wrapped up and wound up right up there is going to help to draw in that moisture and it will be diving south Southward. So this is impacting all of the west. In fact, all of the lower 48 as it moves eastward over the next couple of days. Here's a look at what we can expect in terms of rainfall and snowfall. And we are going to be seeing the snow levels really dropping with this one and coming down uh, into the foothills. In addition to that, the rain threat will be heavy at times. And we're going to have to keep a close eye on some of those burn areas. In fact, I know a few evacuations uh, have already taken place in advance of that expected rain and threat of maybe some debris flows as a result of that. Here's a look at the forecast snowfall totals. This is between now and your Saturday night. And we are talking, this is not an error, <laughs> five to six feet of snowfall. That's going to be along the Sierra Crest. We're going to see some of those heaviest totals. Uh, even along the I-80 corridor, we're going to have some significant issues uh, going through the passes because of the heavy snow. And it's going to come down and create some real visibility problems also. As it moves inland, we'll watch for the snow to pick up across parts of Nevada. Uh, the 
Wasatch Range should be picking up a couple of feet of snow as well. And we could get some big numbers across parts of Idaho as well as into parts of Wyoming. Now, what about snowfall for the Midwest? I know you've had some nice recent snowfall. The snowmobilers have been happy, but our next storm system primarily rain for you. We'll likely see a little snow mixing in across parts of lower Michigan and then changing over, over to all snow impacting Detroit as we head into your Thursday night and then into your Friday. Here's a look at how much snowfall you could possibly expect as a result of this. It's not going to be a whole heck of a lot, but more of a nuisance snow than anything else and will affect your travel on some of the roadways. Three to five inches at most, but most areas should stay around that one to maybe three inch range. And then as we move into the northeast and our nor'easter cranks up as well, we could be measuring snow just over a foot in a few of the higher elevation areas. Well, our big story tonight, of course, the flooding and the heavy rain. A mudslide is being blamed for causing the water to rise in this Arkansas neighborhood. This is video from White County along the Little Red River. At least 10 homes were affected with levels reaching up to three feet inside of houses. Well, the cleanup from floods along the Ohio River also uh, have to be done. Check out this video showing trees and other debris in Cincinnati. The Ohio River here crested at just over 60 feet this week, and it shut down many, many tri-state roads. And a lot of people are going to be impacted by this, trying to travel across this part of the country over the next couple of days. Flood warnings and flood watches remain in effect across much of the Mid-South, including our flash flood warning for you in Little Rock. We've been seeing these training thunderstorms moving over already very saturated ground. These locations could see an additional one to two inches of rain before tomorrow morning. Currently in our area, 43 degrees under cloudy skies. Tonight, evening clouds will give way to clearing overnight. Low 31. Winds north northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Thursday, a mainly Thursday night, clear skies. Low 27. Winds east northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's our seven day outlook. Right now, 12 million people under flood warnings tonight. Severe weather expert Dr. Greg Forbes is here analyzing who's at risk for disastrous rain amounts over the next few hours and who's at risk for damaging thunderstorms and possibly a tornado or two. Our other big story, a monster nor'easter developing, and this one will impact a lot of people. Just look at who's at risk for losing power in the next 72 hours. We are pouring over the data coming in, pinpointing who will see feet of snow, who will see tropical storm force winds, and when it all moves in. Well, we are live tonight until 11 o'clock Central Time, 12 midnight Eastern Time, and we're tracking two dangerous storm threats which have been developing. Thanks for staying with us. I'm meteorologist Jackie Jarris. We've got ongoing flooding right now across parts of Arkansas as well as into Tennessee. And if you live in the Northeast, you really need to pay attention and stay tuned here. We've got a big nor'easter that's on the way that's going to impact so many of you. Here's the latest on what you can expect. Let's talk first.